hello everyone today we will be looking at UI picker view controller UI picker view controllers are those wheels which show up when you make uh, when you click on some select boxes or when you, um, uh, one of the most used application urban airship uh, sorry not urban airship uh, urban spoon which has this functionality which has a wheel at the bottom that's pretty much a UI picker view control if you don't know what it is let's go ahead and make a view based application and we can look at it picker controller and create the project once I have the project I'll go ahead and go here and I can show you how to do it using a using directly the code you can do it using interface builder also uh, but I might I will not be using interface builder for this particular project there is something called as if you go to the library you will see something called as picker view controller the date picker and picker view picker view is what you're talking about it's a wheel you might have seen this just by looking at the image you'll know what it is so let's go ahead and do it programmatically uh, so first thing I need to add is some delegate methods for the picker controller so I see you are view delegate and you are picker view data source so that these two functions give us some methods to provide data to the picker view controller and add uh, some delegate methods if you click on something what should happen so let's go ahead inside and make a in view did load let's go ahead and make a ui a ui picker view controller ui picker view star picker equal to ui picker view allocate and initialize with frame i'll just easy right to make i will give it right on the top zero zero three twenty by say 200 let's see how that looks mm, then I add it to the dot view add sub view picker so if I just do that and run it it will fail because simulator is not selected so I'll just run it with the simulator and um, the application loads up builds up it's pre-compiling that's why saying compiles has a bunch of different errors because we're not uh, warnings because we're not yet implemented any of those delegates or data source methods let's see how it looks first so as soon as I add the picker it will show a black spot uh, at the top which is the UI picker view controller since I don't didn't put anything over there it's kind of blank so let's go ahead and first say picker dot delegate equal to self that's where the delegate methods will be implemented in the current class and same thing with the data source methods so let's go ahead and look at what are the data source methods first jump to definition uh, so it says required there are two required methods in UI picker view data source and right here is UI picker view delegate first let's go ahead and implement the data so the first one is number of components this is more like sections in a table view number of components is how many uh, wheels do you want inside a particular wheel so I will say for our example we just want one um, and next is number of rows in each component so I will say I want say 10 of them let's go ahead and run this application and see how it looks like so now we might see a little bit more of the picker view but with all questions so it creates one section one section with 10 rows I want to do two sections to show you just to show you how it looks like so we can have multiple sections in a UI picker view controller depending on your requirements how many you want so this is how it will look like I can also say picker dot uh, show selection indicator equal to yes this what this one will do is it will show uh, which one is the current selected one 
so if you run that see if you see that blue thing come up so that helps you see which one is selected so once I'm done with that let me add some data to it how do I add data you go here and go to your definition for the delegate and see what all things are the width for component we don't need that row height these are all optional so we can just skip them row height for component you can specify height then this title for row uh, what is the title for the row this is what we need instead of just giving a title we can also give a view but we're not doing that here you can make a view custom view and add it to the picker views row date selector what happens when you click on a view so let me just implement for now title for row so I will say return ns string string with format let's make a string out of it hello row and I want to show the number of the row so I'll say row that is given by this particular delegate method now if I run this um, it will have hello one two three four zero hello zero one two three so two of them it will both will have the same thing just have one for now you can change it to as many as you want um, so let's see how it looks like so there we go that's how a UI picker view controller looks like if you want to implement that other function which is um, the did select row that is whenever a row is selected you want to do something you can just do something inside this function I can just give you for right now show an alert view alert equal to you view allocate in it with title hello message say I can just give this particular as a message it's a string so I can give that delegate nil this delegate for the alert view cancel button title okay other titles no I don't have any other titles so that's all and I can say alert show so what it will do is it will just show an alert and whenever I select something so initially these zero is selected so if I go and select number seven it will give an alert view hello row seven so that's how UI picker view controllers work if you have any uh, questions related to this please post on comments or just email me um, thank you for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video